Hello everybody, Muzzlewood here and welcome to this video on mob spawning distances and mob spawning behavior. I came up with what you see behind me out of kind of just curiosity to make sure I was getting it right when I built my mob spawner. I thought it was pretty cool so I thought I'd share it with uh, everyone on YouTube. So let's go have a look. Okay, just before we get into it, uh, if you've come here from my mob spawner video uh, walkthrough, thank you very much for clicking on the next video. Uh, if you haven't, check it out if you're interested in the mob spawner because I won't be talking about it in this video. And the second thing is building the, these spheres that you can see or uh, arches was pretty hard for me. Uh, I actually had to try and had to find a program to help me out just with the block count. Um, so I'll just link to that as well. Uh, it's just a, a simple HTML which draws a grid for you which you can count the blocks on. That really helped me out. All right, anyway, moving on. The guts of the information that you need is if you were standing in the middle of this spawner, mobs will spawn in a 15 by 15 by 15 chunks around the player centered on the player. Uh, so if you know the chunks that's 200, 240 blocks by 240 blocks centered around the player. So that equals 120 in each direction of the player. That's kind of the guts of it. If, you, if you're standing in the middle of your mob spawner there will be some sort of mob within a 240 by 240 block radius of you. Now the domes that I've drawn up here, or built up here, represent um, kind of active spawning, kind of the most active spawning distance that you'll probably want to stand in to get the most out of your mob spawner. Uh, the blue ring is 24 blocks away from the center of the spawner and the red ring is 32 blocks away from the spawner. Between those two distances is where you want to have your collection point for your items or it's where you just want to kind of stand. Now that's a radial thing so wherever you, st it's not a you know, strat uh, box distance so these rings represent where you would have to stand to be those distances away. So this is the kind of goal area that you'll be aiming for when at least when I when I'll be building the spawner, I'll, my collection points will be within that um, 24 to 32 block distance. Another good reason to build within this distance, 24 to 32 blocks, is if you're within this distance, probably closer, more closer to 24, the mobs will be active. Now it doesn't really matter on this mob spawner because they get pushed into the water but if you just got a static mob spawner where they need to f walk off ledges and into water or the killing machine if you're standing out here the mobs will spawn but stand still. As soon as you move closer the mobs will start to move around so giving more chances that they're going to walk off the edge. If you go closer to this, closer to your spawner you may be de actually decreasing your chances of the mobs spawning. So for that reason it's another reason why 24 to 32 blocks away is a good distance to stand. Another thing to remember when you build your spawner is the lighting up of areas around your spawner. Wherever you, remember, wherever your spawner is, it will be wherever you will be standing to collect the items or do whatever with your spawner will be 15 by 15 chunks around you or 240 blocks by 240 blocks centered on you. So you'll have to 
light up as many caves and as much as the overworld as you can because then that will reduce the amount of mobs spawning outside your spawner and force them force all the game ticks to update in the air blocks in your spawner um, so if your mob spawner is not producing the rate you like or you think it should be producing check for caves and light up as as much of them as you can and see what you can do to the overworld some people half slab the entire 240 by 240 blocks that's a lot of slabs and a lot of work um, try doing some of it with torches what you what you can you know whatever you can do do to reduce it and however much time you want to put into it is going to go a lot a long way to getting mobs spawning in your spawner all right guys we'll leave it there thank you for watching hopefully i've explained in a simple matter how mobs spawn and mobs behave in minecraft if you liked what you heard and watched please hit the like button it's nice to know people are watching and if I've got anything wrong please tell me because I'd hate for bad information to go out on the net about this stuff and cause people dramas uh, if you want to continue reading a bit more for yourself if you haven't found it already go to the minecraft wiki and have a have a read there and it might make a bit more sense if I haven't Okay guys, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again.